Hello. Okay. Mm, I haven't used this uh, scene in a while. <clears throat> so. Hello, everyone. And also, I moved my camera because I'm not watching my TV for console gameplay stuff and moved it back, and everything is a little bit weird right now for me. <laughs> um. So, um, I'm right now contemplating multiple things um, to talk about. <coughs> so, let's first talk a little bit more about me. Uh, and stuff that I maybe mentioned, maybe not, maybe not gone into much of a detail. Um, so, basically, um, I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to have, um, Okay. Better? Yeah, I'm moving now my mouth more when I'm talking. Ah. So, um... <laughs> um... <clears throat> I'm personally trying right now to better my life uh, in uh, multiple ways. Uh, sorry, I need to mute the background music for myself. Uh. Yeah, KJ, hi. Yeah, 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 podcast the demon. Um, so... I, uh, like I mentioned, I personally try to better my life and myself in multiple ways. Uh, one thing, if you followed me on Twitter, I'm not calling it any other way. Uh, I started to have, like, a weight loss journey. And uh, I was morbid obese I gone down to being just obese I'm still working on it and after I did so much progress on Twitter there is an outbreak uh, on um, pet shaming and stuff like that I want to give my two cents about it. Oh, hello, Cheese Wanderer, and thank you for the follow. Um, so, I don't know if you followed that stuff um, about the sub -want. Uh, The empty chair is normally for... Uh, another co-host or if I decided to go with my v right model and my life to d model at the same time and have a deep conversation with myself um, but right now I think uh, myself is enough I can move chat and be chat co-host So, chat, you're the co-host. 
Um, so basically, um, <clears throat> basically, um, there's the VTuber called Bao. <sighs> be happy, be happy. I'm on that platform like 12 years. Um, at the beginning it was quite nice. But yeah, that changed. Um, so, VTuber called Bao. She had an... Blueberry blown up model. And people calling her out for being like fat shaming and stuff like that. <clears throat> and um, it is not really that um, she not making fun of uh, people that are fat. She is more making fun of the fetish. You know the inflation fetish. That is deeply ingrained in many other fetishes. For example, there's so much in the furry scene with inflation. It's the same as you would make fun of like furry stuff or foot fetish or... I don't even want to go deeper into this. So... It is not really necessary uh, uh, at um, fat people. But also what's uh, quite bothering me is... Um, <clears throat> um, the, the other thing is... People talking about how they cannot for being fat and blah 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 and blah 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 and that is wrong. There are like only five percent of people, five percent, that cannot physically lose weight. 95% of people, everybody can lose weight. And if you say something about like uh, medical conditions, I got these medical conditions. I'm asthmatic, I have a far right underproduction, so it's really easy for me to gain weight and keep high weight. But I'm on a weight loss journey and I'm losing weight. And so far, I keep off the weight. I'm not fat shaming people. Fat people are not bad people. They should not be treated worse. But you cannot tell me that uh, losing weight is not an option. It is. And you cannot be on long term be healthy and overweight. You can be healthy and overweight for a short time, yes. Maybe even many years. But sooner or later it will catch up to you. Because fat is with enough poisonous. And it and that's also a kind of problem with a weight loss journey if you lose too fast weight. Because the more fat is freed in your system, the more your liver and kidney needs to work to like filter it out and make sure it gets wasted. Because our body can only use so much fat as an energy source. So yeah. But again. Fat being... It's a choice for 95% of people. There are some cases where it is really close to being impossible to lose weight. Like if you have the, 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 the what's it called? The elephant 
gigantic sickness kind of thing. That that is yeah. And some other really rare sicknesses that are not really um, that treatable. Um, so yeah, being fat is a choice, not um, not really an genetic thing like height and stuff. Ugh. So again, people just want to be outraged of being outraged. Uh, and yeah, so like I said, I'm personally on um, a weight loss journey and like I said about it is that um, right now I've gone from being morbid obese to just being obese. Funny enough, the if you would translate the German back into English, the morbid obese is less scary because the German word for morbid obese is krankhaft fettleibig. Uh, so. English and easy translation would be like sickly fat rather than morbid fat which <clears throat> I think morbid fat has a, a bigger impact than sickly fat but then again you get all the sicknesses from being fat Oh, funny thing, I said that I had um, thyroid um, problems with thyroid underfunction. My thyroid underfunction is going away because I'm losing weight. It's crazy. It's crazy how much the body can get better from stuff like um, losing weight. And uh, the optimum weight, to be honest, is not necessary all the BMI bullshit because every body type is different, every bone structure, muscle structure, everything is different. So BMI should not be your goal, but the goal should be where you feel the best. Because when I look what my BMI should be, I thought. Eh? At the max, I should wait. Okay. Uh, first of first, let's start with um, once a time I weighed the heaviest. And after that, I never really weighed myself for a long time. My heaviest weight was... Uh, 114 kilo, so that should be roughly uh, 240-ish pounds for Americans, roughly. Because the transition from kilo to pound is 1 kilo is 2.2004 times to make it to a uh, to pound like so if I just would to double it I would be at 228 so roughly 240 I would say would have been my worst worst weight ever at a height of um, 169 centimeter which is really close between either 56 or 57 that that transition is also confusing and I don't know how it really works if you round up or not because it's a real uneven number 
Um. So. Again. Um. Then. Roughly when I started to watch my weight and try to lose it, it was around the 104. So. Woohoo, it was already 10 kilo less than my heaviest ever was. And um, now I am the roughly 20 kilo even lighter. So I'm right now around the 84 kilo, which would be 100. 83 ish for Americans and um, yeah it's good but the least optimal one would be technically speaking around um, the maximum amount for my weight should be 70 kilos, so technically I would need to lose another 40. And I'm trying to reach that, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it that way. I want to feel it if it is the right amount of weight for my body. Because sometimes weighing a little bit over the BMI is not a bad thing it's not too unhealthy and uh, like I said everybody is different but it does not necessarily mean that you can be in height of five six and way far over 200 for American oh it would be even crazier for uh, <laughs> Uh, for the freaking uh, Germans and well most other countries um, another thing is I actively now starting to get uh, mental help uh, the big reason for it was a good friend of mine that is not anymore a good friend of mine because of my mental issues and um, can only hope that it will get better everybody has <coughs> issues mm. Everybody needs to deal with them differently. I, um, I really, I really want to get better for myself and so that everybody else will get better. Um, again. To go back to the whole Twitter cancellation, I, f I find it just ridiculous and it, it, it is quite stupid. I also um, did a big birthday stream on Sunday and yesterday I tried to recover from that 11 hour stream. <clears throat> so I finished uh, the Yakuza game. I'm close to platinuming it. There are only like four trophies missing. Um, so, um, um, the thing that I am also a little bit um, debating is to. Um, To, uh, to make like a mixed language stream because I notice how sometimes German words slip out, out of me and how 
it would be easier if I just would like do a mixed language stream where I talk German and English. So yeah, that could be something interesting. But also, I remember the last time I tried to do that and lost um, so many followers and stuff on both my YouTube and on my Twitch. Um, so, um, I'm kind of scared of doing that. But. Mm, I would also feel maybe a little bit more free because even though I do mostly English content and I understand English really well and I think I can talk well enough in English, I feel often really shackled by uh, playing not my first language or native language or however you want to call it because sometimes the proper words are missing because I don't grew up with the English words I so some of the common words just don't come to me because I don't commonly use them in English <clears throat> even today I needed to look up because I totally forgot the word dictionary And, um, yeah, so I'm really thinking of, like, mixing up content and have, like, German in between there as well. Maybe to gain even a somewhat German audience, because by the looks of it, the German VTuber scene has an uprising and really well one. Uh <sighs> But yeah, my, um, I also want to do more like casual streams and do collabs, mm, but for the problem doing like collab stuff is I would need to have friends to have the time for something like that. And I don't want to force people to do it. Everybody has their own stuff to do. I, um, I think it's um, a little bit cheating on, on the easier side to bounce out uh, off of other people and have like a friendly banter and so there is like a more comedic value or more entertaining value than a single person talking about stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that could be quite interesting as well. Um, uh, what else? Oh yeah, I finished the Yakuza game and now I'm uh, contemplating on what I stream next and I don't know how I feel about streaming another, like, another RPG type game because I felt so burnt out on Monday from, like, RPGing. But the problem is, the beginning of this year was, like, RPG hell. Or heaven, depending how you will look at it with like Persona and Final Fantasy and Yakuza and a couple of more if you like want to go do Grand Blue Relinks was the name and there's so many other um, yeah.
Also, the whole um, Dragon's Dogma to the Bath is also funny to see. Like, yes, the uh, the 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 the, the freaking um, the freaking um, micro tanks actually are bad, but. Nearly all of them are available in the game. Some easier than others, but still. Um, the only thing is that is absolutely mind-boggling is the performance on PC, as well as um, my mouth movement is still a little bit boring. Let me see. Ah, uh, probably a little bit of clipping will be happening, but it should be better. Um, oh yeah, Dragon's Dogma 2. The, the, the only thing that it should be lambasted for is the freaking PC performance as well as you cannot start a new game. You cannot have a different game file on it. Hey, Scarf. Yeah. Dragon's Dogma 2. I'm talking about that one and... How um, it slightly gets out of hand with the critique. Like, yeah, the game performance is shit on PC. On console, it's not much better. Then, um, as well as how you can have only one game file. Uh, so far, gameplay-wise, it's really great from what I've heard. It's also on my giant-ass backlog game list to play. <sighs> but yeah, only these two things are things that are necessary to um, really, like, critique the game at. I know the micro tank action are a really like kick in the nuts for an like seventy dollars and for European even worse like I don't know it's not that high ish. I thought they, they had like the big big game price, but now I'm seeing it on uh, Steam right now. It is still high, but not high as many other games that I saw. But still, for a like, full fledged game to have like 21 micro transactions, most of them are available in game. No, these are blocking you not from the best content. They are not as bad as back in the day freaking Capcom. In like the 2010s, I think. Do people here know about Ashura's Wrath? That, ga that game was technically a vision novel with here and there, like, uh, 
QTEs and some sometimes button mashing combat, but it was epic in proportions anyway. And the ending was DLC. The ending of the game was DLC. You could not finish the game without the DLC. And it was also in the old practice of Capcom. It was already on the disc. The, the, they were great at already on the disc downloadable content that you don't need to download, only to unlock. The same with um, Street Fighter vs. Tekken. That was also such a shit show. Because of all the characters that were already on the disc and were ready to be used, but you need to buy them. Again, that was Capcom of the past, but it slowly rears its ugly head again. And and I hope it will be gone. Also, the the the, the hypocrite thing about the whole um And hypocrite thing about the equality and all that kind of shit. I don't know if I should even dip my toes into that. But I am for equality. I really am. I support every race, religion, gender. As long as they're good people, they're good people. Uh, do you want to see a game? I just want to talk about different things. Um, this is just background music. Because I don't want to have like a completely like empty background sound. Because sometimes I am quiet and uh, quiet part is always bad part. Um. So. Uh, so yeah. So far, so good. Um, funnily enough, Capcom did the same shit with Devil May Cry 5. But people were less pissed because Devil May Cry 5 was a good game and run good. Dragon's Dogma 2 is a good game, but it runs not that well. So, uh, people have it easier to complain about stuff. So, um, again, uh, equality and all that kind of shit is... I really uh, kind of dislike it that... Um, By trying to make it more equal, they're making it less equal, and they're making it even, in some cases, I think, rather racist or sexist at all. Like, um... You know what would be funny? 
I uh, really don't know if uh, some of you watched this show. It is rather on the old side with the actress Lucy Liu. It was called uh, Senna, the Princess uh, Warrior Princess. And um, if it, it was great, it was really awesome character development and really uh, showcased strong female character and all that kind of shiz. Um, but if we would do the same thing today, funny enough, it is an late 80s, early 90s kind of thing. If it was rebooted with the, the, the same script and everything, it would be called Vogue Shit. Because the main, uh, the, uh, the beginning of the story is basically woman gets uh, used and abused by man, hates man, fights off the evil man, and helps people on the way. That's an easy summary of the story. She slowly learns to trust men and stuff like that. But she's still a strong independent woman. Again, like how uh, I describe it right now, it would be considered woke. But it isn't. And it wasn't back then as well because... Her, it was her character trait, yes, but also her trait was to be like a strong woman and they showed more per action and did not always like bang into it over and over and over again. I am a woman, I am a woman, I am a woman. No, that's what they banged in on is I am a person. I am a person. I am a human. It should not be around the gender. I am a woman, that's the reason it is that way. No, I am a person that was made that way. That's how I am, that's how it is. If you make it like in that kind of way, like... Like, I am a woman, that's the reason I am strong and independent and stuff like that. You already are not relatable to like half of the people that are not women or not to identify as a woman. Uh, funny enough, yes. Uh, but Again, it was around the time where a strong woman with guns were a big thing. Thanks, Alien and Terminator. <laughs> um, yeah. It, it, it would be so much easier to write a strong person. Do not have the gender in mind for writing a story, but rather have personality in mind. Because often in the new movies and stuff, the personality is not there. It's a bland character that all their personality is an attribute. Like, I'm gay, I'm trans, I'm woman, I'm an, an rare ethnicity. It's a trait, yes. But it should not be your personality in a movie, TV series, or anything like that. Also, sometimes, uh, like, um, because of that, they building in stereotype, which makes it even sexist and racist in the first place. Like, Really, people? Your reasoning for being strong is because I'm a woman. That's sexist.
or that's the reason Ning why this and that. Like <sighs> the only thing that I uh, slightly can understand um, is like the complaining about um, relationships and how they always go for the safe hetero relationships and stories and stuff like that. But um, again, if the story feels natural and goes natural that way, it's no problem. Like, even I have, like, in some serious and stories like uh, gay ships and stuff like that i mean i uh told at the beginning i finished the yakuza game and i'm a big yakuza fan and the i chip kiryu and machima <laughs> oh, they have such a intimate energy together <laughs> uh I did not like really uh, so much The Legend of Korra because I think they focused too much on like the love aspect. It, it was just not my thing. Like again, storytelling is um, it's like I feel like a dying breed because people try not to tell a good story but try to tell the, for me the difference between a story and a narrative is a narrative is like a guideline you cannot make a movie out of a guideline alone and whole story needs to be have like a beginning, middle, end, and it needs all to connect it well together. Tell more than one narrative because that makes a story even better. Like, um, let let's go with like the original Star Wars. Welcome back, KJ, maybe. Um, so, let's go back to, like, uh, the original Star Wars. It has more than one narrative in the movie. Like, space wizard, oppression, dictatorship, um, piloting and everything around it has more than just one narrative that the story is involved in and that makes the original star wars too uh, good if you have a movie and it's about only one narrative it does not work i personally had a uh, really funny idea about like if I could make a movie, what would I make? I personally would go on maybe a safer route. Yeah, I see that. Um, again. If I could make a movie, I had an idea for... It's still a little bit of Saber Run. So, the first thing I would make to make a movie, what would my idea be? What would be, like, the general narrative be? And I thought... I want to make, like, maybe an... 
C-tier horror movie kind of thing. Because they are fun to watch and are easy. Um, so my idea was, how about like a haunting or a ghost movie? Because zombie are done to dead. And that was not even a pun really. Um, so, ghost haunting. What locations did we not have like in ghost and haunting movie? How about an airplane? That would be kind of an interesting setting. And we can build from there out. Oh. Like, um... Uh, funny enough, is this is a little bit older than all the Boeing news, so uh, it, ha it it is not related to the whole Boeing thing, but um, it is funny how it now evolves into kind of like it could be happening in real life <laughs> with the whole Boeing mal functioning and stuff like that. Yeah, basically, basically, and. Uh, so, I have first the narrative of a ghost story. Now I have as well the narrative of a plane. Now connecting them, how and why it gets to that. What is the premise of like the main protagonist? Who is the main antagonist? Is there a plot twist? And all of that. Like building a story piece by piece and not have just one narrative. Like, I have the narrative of ghosts. I have the narrative of like a plane is on the air and there are humans and ghosts on it. Then I have the narrative of why are the ghosts even haunting that plane? And then maybe have like uh, a commentary on the Boeing thing. Like, I can have so much and more. And also, not my first train of thought about, like, the characters of, like, the ghosts or even the humans that will be in there is what gender they are or what, what race they are or what uh, freaking um, sexuality they are. My thought is just the character, personality, and all that, how I'm going to build this. Uh, my idea was more along the lines of um, a company wants to cheap out of uh, building airplanes by like um, harvesting airplanes that crash, like parts, and it is basically like a Frankenstein airplane. It does not really look like a Frankenstein airplane, but it is haunted by all the people that died from the crashes out of these airplanes. Yeah, 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 I talked about it. Uh, that idea of like the airplanes and all that kind of thing came long long before the boring you started but yeah <laughs> it, it is a funny coincidence now um but yeah again i would rather make it that way and we can evolve it later on with all the things so a movie needs multiple narratives multiple like stuff to follow it just it just does not work i'm i'm a strong independent woman i don't need nobody and that's the whole story of the movie it, it just doesn't work that way it doesn't work this way as well as i'm gay that's already sexist if it's just you character that you are gay Uh, 
again, for me, it doesn't matter what gender, sex, or anything you are. It does not matter. I, I, I just want to be around with good people and talk with good people. So, yeah. I really wish that, like, just good movie writing and film writing comes back. There's so many ways to make, like, an awesome uh, female character. Just write a good character and make her female. Done. She doesn't need to have the reason that she's female. Like, another great example is, like, Buffy. Yes, she is female, but she's a badass. Just, yeah, but no, they only want to tell the one narrative and that's it. I'm drinking on the side, yeah, yeah. Um, but, um... The other side of the spectrum is not much better. Because, uh... I only want to see the same old shit over and over again and don't have a mix-up of the status quo does not work as well. Like, uh... Always the white man that saves everybody and, um has a beautiful bombshell woman and all that shit. It, it, it gets boring. It cannot work always the same way. Also, fun fact is like, there are so many of the right wing um, snowflakes and yes, I call them snowflakes, even though they use it as, like, in derogatory terms, because they are what they say other people are. Um, you know uh, that Nintendo released uh, a game called Princess Peach Showtime. It's a whole story around Peach. And I got it on the Switch, and I played it a little bit, and it's really good. And... Um, there are people that are really complaining why there is not Mario or Bowser in a Peach game. It is, it is even called Princess Peach Showtime. It is her show. They have a really intriguing story. It, it, it is a similar setting to like um, Paper Mario. It's like a theater setting. Um, like sh uh, showing off stuff like that. Um, and Peach gets her own villain. That's great. So far I have nothing to complain, but, but people are butthurt because they don't have Mario in the game or Bowser. Like, I don't get these people. Or the same butthurt stuff about the X-Men. Like, Disney is rebooting the old X-Men. So far from what I heard, the first episode and se uh, was not that great. Second was a little bit better and third is the best so far. I still need to watch it for myself. Um, but at the first trailer already, people flipped their shit about it has too much of an agenda my question to them is did you ever watch X-Men as a child? the main focus of X-Men even back then was racism the story was about racism what agenda? 
It was about racism and politics. The X-Men were always around that. And people start complaining in the first trailer it is too political. These snowflake people. And also, like, to call out, like, morphing non-binary and stuff like that. I would say Morph is the perfect non-binary character ever. Because Morph can morph into anything. The same as kind of Mystique. Mystique is, is also, I think, a rather non-binary character. She can be a male. Or he can be a female. <laughs> you see what I did there? So, yeah. Again, it, it's so weird. And again, talking about Morph and Mystique, they are good written characters. That it does not matter about the whole, like, gender terms and all that kind of shit. But when, was it DC or Marvel? I don't know. One of these tried to make character called quite literally Snowflake and all that other shit. They tried to make really social justice warrior as like heroes. And it does not make sense at all, at all, at all. Yeah, that's the wrong way to go. You cannot make that a trait. Like, again, when they fought about, like, Mystique and Morph, their first thought was not really gender and anything like that. What cool ability do they have? Okay, they can change and, and transform and all that kind of shit. So, um, yeah, that's it. The implication of other stuff just happened to be there and are correct. <sighs> also, um, funny thing on the side is, if they want to do like an, I mentioned it multiple times as well, but if they want to do an, like, modern kind of reboot of uh, X-Men, because um, we can hardly t uh, say that Magneto was a child at the World War II con con camp because even if he was a child around that time like let's be generous and say five because uh, to keep memories under five is really difficult even if they are traumatic and stuff like that and 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 go like from close to the end of like world war two like let's say 41 ish so, he was 5 at 41, so he would be right now 89 years old! Yeah, I don't think that would work anymore. Let's look now at the not so far old history of the human race. What similar piece could we take with a similar background story? I think what right now would work, and that's not like changing race and stuff like that is a bad thing, but it's similar history. I would make Magneto black. With the whole Martin Luther King and whole black history and all that stuff. They're going through some really fucked up shit in America. He would still be a really old guy. 
but he would not be in his ace. He would be maybe 60s, maybe even less than that. Because there is still like a socially distance between the races in America. But the uh, KKK are not that uh, big of a thing. Media wise anymore. They're still a big thing. D uh, don't take me the wrong way, but they're still a big thing. But they're not much discussed anymore in the media. Also, someone told me something that kind of blew my mind away. <clears throat> there are weird time connection things in our brain that do not work. Here, yeah, fun uh, side uh, fact. The time Mahatma Gandhi studied in the UK was the same time as Jack the Ripper was on a killing spree. Would you connect these two in your brains around the same time frame-ish? Or would you think, These are so far apart time-wise! It's really uh, amazing. Yeah, well, not everybody thinks about that kind of thing. There probably would be as well, like, an interesting energy kind of thing in, like, the motorsports world that could be, like, mind-blowing for you. But I am not that well versed at that scene. Like, um, thinking about how seat belts are not that old, or even, um, here in Germany, the mandatory of wearing them is not even that old, technically. Even though it feels like it is forever. But time flies by. So, again, I am r really uh, contemplating about doing a multilingual stream and stuff like that, and um, yeah. Could be interesting, could be. But it also could ruin my whole channel. Um, another point to bring back, uh, because I am losing, uh, wait, sorry. Uh, I thought, because I earned it, um, with my whole, um, weight loss journey and stuff like that, I've got myself a fit bit and um, it is already only worth it because of the app itself, because the app is really great. I have a better tracking of um, 
the rough calories that I take in uh, a reminder about do a little bit movement and stuff like that and it's uh, really helpful I would train a little bit more but I'm still a little bit on the sick side so yeah I, I also think about like getting training gear for at home so it's a little bit easier I even <coughs> Uh, thought about doing like an um, live um, stream thing the jig of um, okay have a nice work um, uh, I was thinking about having like a um, stream with an IRL cam of working out progression is progression and have a double motivation to do that Also, I had, like, a really, uh, not that long ago, really bad rant about technology and stuff. And how we evolve into, like, a technology that is, um, not that friendly environmentally. Um, because how not uh, repairable this is and um, yeah it, the current spectrum of electronics and stuff like that is just um, too wasteful because in today's electronic there's nothing you can really repair because it is like just one tiny microchip that is soldered into the system or it is um, a software issue that uh, and that software is copyrighted, secure, and you cannot have access to it. And, uh, 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 uh. I'm really often debating myself to uh, switch to like complete uh, Linux system because uh, of how great of a progress like Steam makes with compatibility and stuff like that. But still some of the games that I love to play and some programs that I love to use are just not compatible with Linux so I'm stuck with Windows but often when I have issues with in Windows the only solution is a fresh install and then to save and back up all the files and all the preparation to do like an system new install and I once even had an issue okay I new installed it and they took away my license because I installed Windows too often with that key I why if I bought your product you take it away from me I can somewhat forgive it for something stupid as like a movie not necessarily a game but a movie I can somewhat understand okay licensing right blah 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 digital streaming platform blah 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 okay that's not too bad but with games and a freaking operating system I do not accept that <sighs> and also how much waste is going to exist because of stupid windows like 
Most people won't be jumping over to like a Linux based system, even though it would be like the better option. Like, um. Ah. Uh, Again, the current world is so fucked up. Uh, is there anything else I want to talk about? I don't really want to go into detail about... Um, mental health and stuff like that um i'm working on it and i hope i get better um, physical currently sick so i cannot train and that is really pulling me down a little bit about um, losing weight um language stuff i really want to do like uh, a language stuff kind of thing um, where i can stream either in german or in english or even mix them both <sighs> so um Oh, God damn it. Um, what else can I talk? Wrestling. I fall a little bit out. I'm here and there watching, but I'm not. I just don't have the time to be invested in everything that I want to be invested in. Um. So. Also, um, I, I can only, uh, only can, uh, recommend everybody, um, to, to reach out to help yourself, uh, get help, you know the meme, um, so, get help in a way for your body and your mind. And, um, that's what I will be doing. And I hope really it will go, uh, go better. Um, what else is there to say? Um, Uh, also, it, it is so funny if I think about, about all the things that I got bullied and made fun out of and all that kind of shiz. I was bullied and made fun out of my weight. I was bullied and made fun out of my... Um, Heterosexual, so I'm not full fledged German. Um, I was made fun out of uh, my music taste, uh, gone more into the rock metal category, and everybody was like in hip hop, techno, and that kind of thing. I was made fun out of uh, my taste in wrestling and anime. I was made fun of being uh, just a geek nerd kind of thing. And um, it, it feels like I've uh, just grown up in the wrong time. 
Because right now, you would be like a cool kid if you have like a Demon Slayer or Jujutsu Kaisen t-shirt. You, well, music-wise, it's J-pop and K-pop and some other stuff that I don't know. I, I personally am more of a rock and metal kind of guy, but I can listen to other stuff. As long as it's fun to listen to, it's fun to listen to. Um, I even like some uh, classical tunes. Yeah. <sighs> Bolero uh, for Elise. Uh, für Elise. Why did I do it in English? It's für Elise, German. Uh, and. And these are the two major ones that come to my mind. Um, uh, let's see. Um, again, I feel like if I would have been born 10 years later, I would have fit better in society. Also, like, I feel connected to Gen X more than the min Millennial, even though technically I'm a Millennial age group. But the, the, the age group thing is also kind of stupid because Wow, your age group just started out. You're five years in, and the age group is five years. So it does not have yet an own uh, personality, own real thing. So it is influenced by the previous generation. <clears throat> Only like 10 or 15 years in, it has its own spin and its own thing. And then some other generations are born into it as well, and yeah. Uh, what is the current gen? Gen Alpha, I think, was it? Uh, but the whole generation thing also does not make much sense for me. <sighs> also, uh, I'm really hyped for Dragon Ball Z Sparking Zero. Like, I have so many fond memories and big memories about Budokai Tenkaichi games. And, um, yeah, I cannot wait to play it. I will miss the destruction of the controller by rotating the sticks, but... Controllers are just too expensive in today's age. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> I tried out the Sandland demo thing and I don't think I'm going to get the game because it's not my style of game. Also, the demo was a little bit on the bad side. I wish it was more like a demo of what currently the demos most of the time are, like the first two hours of the game or so. Because to be thrown in in the middle and with just some couple of screen prompts and then just 
go and do shit. It works with some games, but not with every game. <clears throat> also, I did a little bit of a survey to see what game I should stream next time. And it ended in a tie between Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and uh, Persona 3 Reloaded. So, that's helpful! Nah. Um, I should... Oh, one moment, I need to blow my nose. So, uh, better. Um, yeah, that's the thing. I, I really don't know what game should I play. And also a little bit RPG'd out of like a freaking Like a Dragon 8. But I think that I, with a little bit more help of Princess Peach Showtime in my off time, I can jump back into it. Also kind of debating on when or not I should play uh, Health Divers 2 on stream or not. Um, one of the thing is that... Um, I have it on my PlayStation, but communications is a little bit important in that game. But I don't want to use the PlayStation chat option, so it's kind of shit. Um, yeah. <coughs> Also, um, something that I currently sometimes watch um, to have a little bit more of a motivation to keep me on my weight loss journey is um, my 600 pound life. How uh, the easiest purple, uh, no, the easy, easiest person to lie to is yourself. That's what I've learned. Um, so, yeah, um, huh. oh god, uh, is there anything else to talk about? The only thing that I can say that I'm really missing is uh, sometimes snacking on sweets. Like, I have a really bad sweet tooth. Like, different types of chocolates and um, puddings and baked goods. God, is there so much baked goods in Germany that I want to eat but cannot? Because it has the two worst combinations in freaking. Uh, what 
What is it? Um, what is it in English again? Carbs and uh, sugar. It, it just makes you faster hungry because of the insulin that it gets. Oh. And, 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 and because of that, you eat more than you need to, and. Oh. Yeah. I'm not saying you should cut out all the carbs because carbs are kind of good thing because they uh, first get to transform into the best energy energy source for your muscles. So it is rather good to eat carbs before you have like a workout so you have a little bit more energy for your workout. Uh, like one of the like glucose subcategory it gets transformed pretty quick that is an energy source for the muscles and stuff like that also um, it is not just one pair of aspect for weight loss journey it's not just food itself it is both food and workout so, um, yeah, I need to, like, have a workout and food. And while doing research around all that, I can say the human body is stupid. And, like, workout speaking ways the best thing for a long time sustainable low body fat is building muscles the best way to lose fat fast is cardio training because it burns far more calories cardio is and not necessarily bad but it's still in the bad category of building muscles it tends to even um, like uh, make you lean muscles and less muscles because of like the, the contraction and other bullshit so if you want to lose fat quick, you do cardio. If you want to keep off the fat for a long time, you need muscle training. So I'm in a peculiar sense of, I still have too much fat, so I'm doing more cardio. But even if I reach my goal then, I need to shift from doing more cardio to doing more muscle training. I'm doing muscle training, don't get me wrong, it's necessary because of uh, the calorie deficit that I'm going in, that I do muscle training so that the body is not stupid and, oh, I need energy. Let me use the muscles and not the fat in the body. Why body? You store fat for energy purpose, but rather want to go on the muscles than the fat that you stored for energy? Stupid ass buddy. Also, like, I learned that there are hormones for feeling full. There are hormones for feeling hungry and the same goes for first and not thirsty and, and there are so many hormones and if you have a slight hormone off balance it's ridiculous even on the side of like um, like the testosterone and uh, S Gen. It's, everything is stupid and weird. So, um, 
yeah, that's that. I don't think I have much to say else. I don't know if I want to switch to a game or not. Uh, probably not. I probably should uh, prepare myself dinner. Uh, let me see if um, there's any person that I maybe can raid. Let's see if there is a person that I can um, braid. Because, again, I don't want to raid someone big, big so that I don't get like um, backlash for being like an great farmer to get shout outs and stuff Sure, that looks like an. Uh, that looks like an interesting person to write, maybe. Uh, or maybe not. I I don't know if I feel comfortable enough. Uh, I don't want to bother people. I think uh, uh, no, I feel too uncomfortable. I am going to just stop streaming. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. Until next time, bye bye.